now see experimentally we can observe this thing if the temperature of the body or the system is changed the dimensions of the body changes if temperature of the body is increased then the dimensions of the body also increases and that is called thermal expansion if temperature of the body is decreased the dimensions of the body decreases that is called thermal contraction okay now here we have to discuss three types of thermal expansions linear thermal expansion area thermal expansion and volume thermal expansion suppose we have the body which one is with linear dimensions suppose we think about a thin wire or rod with length equal to l and now if temperature is increased of that particular thin rod or wire then its length increases and this phenomena that is called linear expansion if increase in the temperature of the body cause the increase in area of the body then it is called area expansion and if increase in the temperature of the body cause increase in the volume of the body then it is called volume expansion now suppose the length of the wire or the thin rod that is l and if its temperature is increased by delta t so due to increase in its temperature by delta t suppose its length is increased by delta l then experimentally we can observe this thing the increase in the length of the rod or wire that depends on initial or we can say original length of the wire as well as it directly proportional to the increase in the temperature of the wire so we can write delta l that is equal to this proportionality constant alpha l into length of the wire into increase in the temperature delta t where alpha l that is known as the coefficient of linear expansion of the body so here we can write the fractional change in the length of wire that is equal to alpha l into delta t clear to all of you area expansion suppose we have a thin square plate whose area that is a now suppose its temperature is increased by delta t and due to increase in temperature by delta t suppose its area is increased by delta a then again here experimentally we can observe this thing the increase in the area of the plate that directly proportional to the original area of the plate as well as the increase in the temperature so we can write the equation delta a increase in the area of the plate that is equal to the proportionality constant into original area of the plate into delta t the increase in the temperature where alpha a that is called the coefficient of area expansion and coefficient of area expansion that is two times the coefficient of linear expansion clear to all of you 
Later on, we will derive this relationship alpha A that is 2 alpha L. Now, volume expansion. Suppose we consider a cubical body having volume equal to V. Now, its temperature is increased by delta T. And suppose due to increase in temperature by delta T, its volume is increased by delta V. Okay. Now, experimentally, we can observe this thing. Delta V increase in the volume of the body that directly proportional to original volume of the body as well as the change in temperature of the body. So we can write the equation for the increase in the volume of the body delta V equal to the proportionality constant alpha V into volume V into increase in the temperature delta T where alpha V that is the coefficient of volume expansion. So we can write here delta V by V the fractional change in volume or you can say this is volume strain also. That is equal to alpha V into delta T but alpha V that is three times coefficient of linear expansion. So three alpha L into delta T and this relationship that also we will derive. Clear to all of you?